1939 D. Lincoln sent. Graded in Mint State 67 read by NGC. Other than exceeding most of its peers in terms of preservation, strike and eye appeal, it also comes with a seldom encountered mint error, the lamination on obverse. Lamination errors can happen during the minting process when impurities or imperfections are present in the metal planchet, the blank disc of metal before it becomes a coin. The impurity can cause the layers of metal to separate, leading to a lamination error. This MS67 red gem was sold for $168. Number 7. 1928S Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 64 read by PCGS. According to Jamie Hernandez, the 1928S Lincoln Cent is one of the few wheat cents struck at San Francisco from 1909 to 1929, which can still be found in high grades and with lots of red-brown and mostly red surfaces remaining. This is among one of the few remaining dates for the San Francisco struck cents from the teens and twenties which can still be located with a great strike, sharp details, tremendous eye appeal and with original clean surfaces. However, it is still considered one of the semi-key dates in the entire series. This MS-64 specimen ended up selling for $780. Number 6. 1951 Franklin Half Dollar in PR67 Condition. Proof sales, which had more than doubled between 1942 and 1950, rose only slightly for 1951. The quality of the coins improved, though there are still many 1951 proof half dollars coin with only semi-brilliant fields, according to NGC. This half dollar with exquisite eye appeal was bargained for $1,020. Number 5. 1917S Lincoln Cent. Graded as MS64 read by PCGS. The 1917S Lincoln Cent is one of the semi-key dates in the Wheat Lincoln Cent series. As it is, most San Francisco struck cents from the teens and twenties are very difficult to find in uncirculated grades and many times even in circulated grades. This MS64 red specimen fetched a price of $2,400. Number 4. 1958 Proof Franklin Half Dollar. Graded as Proof 68 Plus Deep Cameo by PCGS. A virtually perfect specimen, the surfaces are platinum white and entirely free of friction. The dense, satiny luster across the devices is contrasted dramatically by the bottomless and heavily mirrored fields. It represents the pinnacle of execution and preservation for the issue and will surely see considerable interest from advanced specialists. With only 875,652 proof half dollars struck, the 1958 is the lowest mintage issue from the second half of the series, which would eventually crescendo to a height of 3.21 million coins struck in 1962. This example was sold for $15,600 on November 14, 2023. Number 3. 1922 No D. Lincoln sent with strong reverse. Graded as MS63 Brown by NGC. An enticing offering for the discerning collector, this is a beautiful choice uncirculated example of the scarce and conditionally challenging 1922 No D. Scent. Warmly patinated in golden copper, both sides also reveal tinges of faded rose and apricot around the peripheries, remnants of the original mint color. Sharply struck on the reverse, as expected for a die pair 2 example, the obverse is characteristically softer, although in the absence of where most major design elements on that side are readily appreciable. The letter L in Liberty and the words in God we are faint, however, and require persistence to discern. It was sold for $15,600. Number 2. Attractively toned 1966 Washington Quarter. Graded as MS68 Plus by PCGS. An exquisite example irrespective of date, pristine looking surfaces are adorned in vivid multicolored peripheral toning that has a target-like distribution from the rims to the centers. The most varied colors are seen when the coin is observed with the aid of direct lighting. Fully struck, lustrous and exceptionally well preserved. It ended up selling for $20,400. Number 1. 1879 Morgan Silver Dollar. Graded as MS67 by PCGS. Brilliant snow white surfaces allow full and ready appreciation of intense mint luster. The finish is predominantly of a satin texture, but with some frosty qualities, and the barest trace of semi-reflectivity in the fields. Sharply struck from the rims to the centers, and virtually pristine to justify the coveted superb gem grade from PCGS. It was sold for $22,800 in November. That wraps up today's episode.
If you found this information helpful don't forget to smash subscribe and like buttons. Take care.